Chapter 351, The Final Battle, Part 1. Obviously, the system version of the movie had patched many loopholes in the original version. In the battles of spiritual spells, the movie presented the viewers with the rashness and competitiveness of Dan Chenzi and the steadiness of Xu An Danzong and his longing of his master who passed away. Meanwhile, the cultivators and warriors were fascinated by the mutual support and appreciation between the two geniuses in the young generation in the time of danger, and the two lifetime relationships between Xu An Danzong and the MI faction's Li Yinkai who was the reincarnation of the Lone Moon Master. All kinds of horrifyingly powerful spiritual artifacts, masters with immortal-like strengths, spiritual mountains hovering in the air, and strange and dangerous places like the evil and creepy Chu Blood Cave formed a grand and vast Xianxia world before the viewing cultivators. At this moment, it dawned on them that cultivators could reach such a high realm and human strength could rival heavenly power. As the eldest disciple of the Imai faction, Dan Chenzi took the order to guard the outside of the blood cave. On the other side, the white-browed spiritual master gathered and saved the strength of Xu Mountain. The blood cave was worthy of Yu Quan's great efforts of entering. Like a natural chasm, no one could enter it even though they knew Yu Quan had been severely wounded. Afraid that Yukon would use the power of the blood cave to fight back. If they died in the blood cave, they would increase their opponent's power. The tables were turned in one instant. With the movie moving forward, the cultivators witnessed the powerful hidden strength of the MI faction while they sensed the huge pressure that Yukon brought to the major factions of Su Mountain. Apart from the heavenly mirror, the heavenly lightning dual swords, known as purple green dual swords in the original novel, were also ultimate treasures of MI. The powerful dual swords represented yin and yang respectively and thus could cause destruction if they touched the other, since they countered and complemented each other. However, they must combine forces and merge yin and yang before they could unleash more terrifying power. MI has such powerful ultimate treasures? The disciples and elders of the cultivation factions in the Morning Star Sea Realm were stunned. Clouds surged on the mountains while the MI faction tried its best to combine the heavenly lightning dual swords. They saw the green and purple sword lights shooting into the sky with overwhelming sword powers. How on earth did they create this kind of spiritual artifact? People like Moxian clicked their tongues and said in surprise, with one yin and the other yang, one soft and the other hard. The dual swords contain extremely powerful strength. The most extraordinary thing is that there seem to be no engravings of arrays on these spiritual treasures. Jun Yang Tsai, who had a deep understanding of artifact making, looked serious. Even the heavenly mirror that the white browed spiritual master used previously doesn't have engravings of arrays. Instead, the dragon and bird engravings seem to possess such great power as if, Jun Yang Tsai found it hard to find proper words to describe these treasures since there weren't many words that could be used in this regard. As if they were demons born and raised by the heaven, Ning Bai said with a focused expression. This lady gets it. Jun Yang Tsai gave her a thumbs up and said, if we can copy a tiny part of it, we'll gain unimaginable benefits in terms of artifact making. However, these spiritual treasures have their own powerful spiritual essence before they were refined, and some of them are even the legendary rare treasures created by the heaven and earth. We'll be extremely fortunate if we can have one of them. Then, they witnessed the failure of the combination of the heavenly strike sword and lightning flame sword. After the physical body of Chen Kong Wuji, the owner of the lightning flame sword, was destroyed, the white-browed spiritual master used Dimai Three Vital Palace and Chen Kong Wuji's vital soul that was saved in lightning flame sword to create another person. Is he really an immortal? Exclamation mark. How can he do that? People like Song King Fing yelled incredulously, and even Alan Ming Su, who was always calm, looked shocked and alarmed. The young people from Alinian Academy, Shangjing Academy, and Xi Academy were stupefied since this scene went beyond their understandings and even their imaginations. When one reaches this realm, they can do whatever they want. Nalan Hongwu exclaimed and then immediately reminded the others, carefully watch the creation process and the detailed restructuring of the human meridians and blood veins. You'll be well rewarded. Hey, we haven't finished watching the process yet. 
Ruan Ning yelled. She was still enthralled by the structure of the human body, but the scene changed. Right now, they arrived to the blood cave already. Still want to watch it? Mr. Fang was merciless. You can grab a pedestrian and strip him naked. You can look as long as you want. Ah, do you want to die? Ruan Ning glared at Mr. Fang with embarrassment and fury, feeling like killing someone. Many females in the group blushed. Who? They all glared at Mr. Fang with embarrassment and fury, and they didn't dare to bring up this topic again. Look, how come there's a small demon here? In front of the blood cave, all the viewers felt cold sweat break out on their backs when they saw that Dan Chenzi turned soft and let the fragile looking, red clothed female demon go, but his body was possessed by the latter, who was transformed from a red corpse. There are such things in the world? At the thought that their vital souls could be controlled by others if they were not careful, the viewers shivered in fear. Obviously, this world was full of dangers, and even Dan Chenzi, the eldest of my disciple who had cultivated for hundreds of years, fell into the trap. On the other side, the white browed spiritual master was preparing the second method to deal with Yu Quan, the combination of three vitals. After seeing the white browed spiritual master ascending above the mortal world to find a weapon to deal with Yu Quan, the viewers suddenly understood the situation and exclaimed, The white browed spiritual master is really an immortal who can ascend to the heavenly realm. No wonder his cultivation strength and power were so horrifyingly high. Meanwhile, the final battle was drawing near. Obviously, the viewers had high hopes for the combined force of the three vitals described by the white browed spiritual master and guessed that it must be a force beyond the mortal world. On the other hand, they were horrified by the Yukon blood demon's towering demonic power and found that it was quite incredible that he reached this realm by cultivation. Different from the previous TV series and movies, Xiu Mountain was fast paced after the improvements made by the system. Each scene and every detail were enthralling and gripping. During the whole time, the viewers intently watched with wide eyes, not wanting to miss any details. With their hearts in their throats, they watched the possessed Dan Chenzi attacking Imai and fighting with the Imai disciples, their blood boiled, and they couldn't stop watching. They watched in despair when Imai fell from prosperity to desolation, and the disciples fled in all directions. Tears of excitement filled their eyes when blue light appeared in the sky, which was the signal that the white-browed spiritual master issued from beyond the mortal world and Xiu An Danzong finally understood the combination of the three vitals and gained the Nanming Li Fire Sword. At this moment, the final battle finally arrived. Chapter 352, The Final Battle, Part 2 The dazzling weird-shaped sword that was as blue as ancient ice crystals and emitting blue icy flames was the Nanming Li Fire Sword. This sword's power was obviously no less than the dual swords. In some aspects, it was more powerful. All the cultivators on Xiu Mountain, including the disciples of Yutai Mountain, King Ching Mountain, and Imai Mountain, gathered together to face the life and death issue concerning all of them. At this moment, they had a daunting task before them, entering the blood cave and rescuing Li Yinkai, who had been kidnapped when the possessed Dan Shenzi destroyed Mai. Since it was dangerous for physical bodies to enter the Chu blood cave, they decided that the best way was to enter it with their vital souls. However, this method presented another problem, Yukun might search for the physical bodies of the intruders and destroy them. If he succeeded, it would be a destructive blow to the forces of Xiu Mountain. Finally, they decided that only Xiu An Danzong and Lian Xing, the reborn Chen Kong Wuji, would enter the blood cave with the lightning flame sword to search for and rescue Li Yinkai and the heavenly strike sword. Meanwhile, their physical bodies would be hidden in New Time Mountain, which would gather the whole force of its faction to guard them against the potential sneak attack of the blood demon, trying their best to buy some time for the rescue mission. The moment that the two of them entered the blood cave, it seemed like blood clouds were rushing over to envelop the area. It looked like a group of blood clouds, but it was actually a huge sea of blood that rose to the sky. It moved from the sky above the blood cave and crashed towards Xiu Mountain. The surging blood sea stunned everyone with the overwhelming and unrivaled power of Yukon Blood Demon, even forcing the white browed spiritual master to ascend from the mortal world. Standing beneath this blood sea and sensing the endless devil power that was even more immense than before, 
The legs of all the cultivators watching the scene turned into jelly. I'm afraid that even a true immortal wouldn't be able to fight it. The usually calm Xixi spiritual master looked alarmed and panicked. This blood cloud major array seems endless, even heavenly power is weak and fragile in front of it, not to mention humans. Nalan Hongwu clicked his tongue and said, I'm surprised that this demon has evolved to this realm after such a short time. Fear yet endless excitement filled the eyes of people like Black Demon and Red Wing Daoist. I wonder what technique this Yukon blood demon cultivates, we would be able to greatly benefit if we can learn a tiny part of it. Why do you want to learn this evil power and technique? Of course, some people felt like it was beneath them to learn this. We would benefit a lot if we can learn a part of Xiu An Danzong's power, not to mention the power of the white browed spiritual master. However, I do feel bad for Dan Chen Zilan Mo heaved a heavy sigh. Although Xiu An Danzong had the Nanming Li fire sword, the demonized Dan Chen Sai could borrow endless devil power from the blood cave. In the Chi blood cave, even with the help of the Nanming Li fire sword, Xiu An Danzong wasn't at an advantage. Many viewers sighed in disappointment while they watched Xiu An Danzong and Dan Cheng Tsai, the former good friends, engage in a battle to the death. Look, Li Ying Kai was rescued. Now that Lian Xing has recovered his cultivation strength, he is powerful as well. I wonder if the heavenly lightning dual swords can combine their forces successfully or not. The viewers were gripped by anxiety since each move was like a step on a wire above a cliff. One mistake would put the entire Xiu Mount into destruction. At this moment, the situations in the Blood Cave and Yutai Mountain were both dangerous. The endless blood sea covered the sky above Yutai Mountain while many disciples of Yutai Mountain chanted scriptures. However, even the most strong willed disciples felt the panic and despair when they faced this doomsday like scene. Soon, even the Daluo Buddha hand cast by Master Zunxing, the Yutai Mountain faction master, only left two palm prints on the huge blood clouds before they were swallowed by the surging blood waves. The mountain-like suppression almost suffocated the cultivators and warriors from the Half City Shop and the Jew City Shop, who were watched the battle standing on Utai Mountain. Above the blood clouds, a mountain-like evil ghost head surged up from the endless blood sea and roared. Instantly, Master Zunxing, who stood on the mountain peak and was ready to battle, puked out a mouthful of blood, and the mountain beneath him collapsed, creating huge waves of debris. This demonic roar shattered the mountains and cracked the land. The monks of Utai Mountain were either dead or severely injured. Just like in my mountain, most of the peaks on the prosperous Utai collapsed almost instantly. Mortals each had one vital soul and one physical body and only cultivators of great cultivation strength could separate their vital souls from their physical bodies. However, in the sky, the mountain-like evil ghost head opened its mouth, and the tens of thousands of vital souls of the Yukon blood demon flew out. How can he have so many vital souls? The viewing cultivators couldn't help yelling. This is not real. Impossible. He has more than 10,000 vital souls. Who can kill this old demon? Even if he stands there without resisting, it would take forever to kill all of his vital souls. In the sky, Yukon blood demon's vital souls shot into the ruined Utai mountain like a dense pack of locusts searching for the physical bodies of Xuan Tanzong and Lian Crossing. The scenes sent goosebumps all over people's bodies. Xuan Tanzong's body got swallowed. Where's Li Yinkai? Where's Lian Xing? Can the heavenly lightning dual swords handle the blood demon? After a short silence, Bedlam broke out in Mr. Fang's tour group, and all the cultivators yelled at the same time, hurry, hurry up and save him, hurry and combine the heavenly lightning, will they fail again like last time, they are finished if that happens, the impatient people like Ruan Ning had the urge to fly up and combine the two swords herself, come on, I'll die in anxiety if you don't do it now, fortunately, different from Chen Kong Wuji in his previous life, Lian Xing was now pure minded, and he merged himself into his sword. The green and purple swords merged in the air like two rainbows. The moment that the two swords collided, they instantly disappeared. By now, the two swords traveled at the speed of light and couldn't be seen by the naked eye. Of course, this was a remake movie produced by the system, and it made it possible for the viewers to see the dual swords after they successfully combined. When they saw the dual swords again, 
they could only spot a pale golden light beam. Then, almost at the same time, a wave of blood exploded out of the blood demon's true form. But obviously, it only killed one vital soul of the blood demon. Soon, the Yukon blood demon appeared again intact, he had only lost one of his vital souls. In the other battlefield, Xiu An Danzong unleashed all of his power and tried to pull Dan Chenzi into mutual destruction while the Nunming Li fire burned them. In the flames, the Red Corpse had to ditch Dan Chenzi's vital soul and flee. Without its control, Dan Chenzi regained his consciousness and grabbed the Red Corpse in the flames, giving Xiu An Danzong time to kill them both and survive the fire himself. Finally, Dan Chenzi took the red corpse with him and died under Xiu An Danzong's sword, both his physical body and vital soul were destroyed. The viewers were filled with complicated feelings when the two best friends who had appreciated each other in the past 200 years ended up this way after a fierce battle. Meanwhile, in the sky above Wutai Mountain, people began to see the true power of the heavenly lightning dual swords. Under the flashing sword lights of the combined swords, the endless blood clouds began to disintegrate continuously. In the blink of an eye, most of the blood sea disappeared. After his vital soul returned to his physical body, Xiu An Danzong unleashed the great power of the Nunming Li fire sword into the mouth of the blood demon. Outside of the blood cave, this godly sword finally unleashed its horrifying power. The remaining vital souls of Yuquan were slaughtered by this wave of horrifying sword lights in one instant. To prevent Yuquan from fleeing as he had done before, Li Yingkai merged herself into the heavenly strike sword and pierced into Yuquan's vital soul, pinned it down with her own vital soul. Meanwhile, a blue light instantly shot into Yuquan's body, led by Mr. Fang. The cultivators and warriors in the tour group stood on the clouds and gazed at the clear sky and land. They looked forward and watched the final destruction of Yukon under the combined forces of the Heavenly Strike Sword, Lightning Flame Sword, and Nanming Li Fire Sword. Chapter 353, Still Brewing. The movie was over. It didn't matter if it were when Dan Chenzi said to Xiu Aunt Dan Zong, even friends of hundred of years must part ways or when Li Yinkai suddenly recovered the memories of her previous life as she pinned down Yukun with her own vital soul while dying with it, and she said to Xiu An Danzong with love and regret, Tanzong, I finally found you. Something touched the softest part in the hearts of the cultivators and warriors who were watching the movie. The first scene showed a helplessness of mortals in front of fate and the second scene presented obsessions and the cycle in people's past lives and current lives in a proper way. The emotions that it expressed were not as passionate as those in Jade Dynasty or The Legend of the Sword and Fairy, but the seemingly mild feelings hidden deep in the cultivators who were hundreds of years old lingered in the viewers' minds like a cup of clear tea which tasted bland at first but was real and long-lasting. The final battle with Yukon kindled the passion of the viewers like a flame. They had never imagined that a battle of spiritual spells between cultivators could be so fascinating. After the improvements made by the system, the spiritual spells, spiritual treasures, and the deep meanings inside them were showcased better in the remake, and the scenes kept flashing back in people's minds. I'm surprised there are such cultivators on Xiu Mountain. Even though the movie had ended, many people were reluctant to leave. Instead, they began to lament. The Heavenly Lightning Dual Swords, Nanming Li Fire, Yukon Blood Demon. This ultimate battle was extremely enjoyable. Lan Mo, the Yuai Daoist Alliance Master started praising it. I obtained a lot of inspirations by watching the movie. Tang Yuan said while nodding, the blood demon's ability to contain tens of thousands of vital souls, the battle of spiritual spells between Xiu An Danzong and Dan Chenzi, and the sword control technique of the Imai faction inspired me greatly. Today, I must consider them carefully after I return home. Watch my heavenly mirror. Xiluo suddenly whipped out his hand. Heavenly mirror? Lin Xiao's face twitched when he saw Xiluo holding a mirror he bought from Xon in his hand. Some people who hadn't watched the movie began to ask questions in the group chat, Mr. Fang's group tour, in QQ. Zai Chenzu, how was Xiu Mountain? Is it worth watching? It's superb. You'll regret it if you don't watch it. Awesome. This movie is a must watch. Soon, messages flooded the group chat. Song Kingfeng. The Heavenly Lightning Dual Swords are so powerful. They are godly weapons. Lin Xiao, 
Don't you think that the Nan Ming Li Fire Sword is more powerful? Black Demon, nonsense. Yu Quan Blood Demon is the most powerful one. If not for the many godly weapons of the MI faction, this faction would have been destroyed long ago. The Xichi Spiritual Master, after watching the movie, I changed my views regarding cultivators. You should definitely watch it if you are interested. I dare to say that the whole situation of the cultivator world will be different if we can learn a small part of the power shown in the movie. Jun Yang Tsai, the spiritual artifacts and the creation methods are totally different from ours, and it's a god sent gift to artifact masters. Artifact masters must study the auspicious patterns and runes on the heavenly mirror. Du An Buai, Taoist brother, when the heavenly mirror came out, it was engulfed by brilliant light, and its body kept spinning. I couldn't even get a good look at it. Yun Yanzi, don't you know how to press the pause button? I can not only see it but can go into the inside of the spiritual artifact to study the structure. Du An Buai, Taoist it brother, you're smart. We can do that. Tang Yu An, anyway. I plan to watch it again. Is there anyone who wants to join me? Nalan Hongwu, I plan to watch it again. Yi Song Dao, me too. The Xichi spiritual master, I want to see it again. Red Wing Daoist, the stuff we just watched is too deep for me. I have to watch it again. This powerful? Some people who hadn't planned to watch the movie went to watch it. Many people did more than just watching it themselves. For example, after watching Xiu Mountain four times, the Xichi spiritual master returned to the faction and said, Junior brother, should we introduce this movie to our faction master? The ethereal spiritual master totally agreed to her suggestion. We should indeed ask our senior brother, the faction master, to watch it. The faction in the movie has so many powerful spiritual treasures, including the heavenly mirror, the heavenly lightning dual swords, and even the Nunming Li Fire Sword. Look at us. We are probably at the same level of Utai Mountain. The Utai Mountain Faction Master only had the time to cast Daluo Buddha Hand before the faction was destroyed by a demonic roar. I guess our whole faction would have the same fate after using the Nanhua Heavenly Light once. Forget it. I can't keep belittling our faction and praising others. You have a point, the Xixi Spiritual Master said. Our Nanhua faction has a powerful supreme treasure which had been passed down for generations since the establishment of our faction, but compared with the heavenly mirror and the heavenly lightning dual swords, it is. Meanwhile in the Haran faction dash, Elder Duan, a square-faced cultivator wearing a blue-trimmed white robe said solemnly, you know how busy I am as the faction master. Instead of helping me, you are asking me to travel to the distant half city. What is the point of going to that place? Upon your return, you keep talking about the great power of the Imai faction on Xiu Mountain, but I've never even heard of it before. Where is the faction named Mai in the world? You are telling me that I will regret it if I don't go there? I think I'll regret it if I go there. In the Yimu Daoist Palace Dash, a white haired old Daoist said, what white-browed spiritual master? What heavenly lightning dual swords? Can they be more powerful than I am a true flame? Junior brother, you just want to read the cultivation method in the last scroll of Yimu true flame, right? I told you many times that you can't hasten the process. You haven't even reached the highest realm of the ninth scroll yet. Senior brother, I think I don't need to read the scroll. It was clear that the speaker was the middle-aged Taoist who had taken some disciples to attend the auction in Half City. I've taught myself the contents of the Tenth Scroll. It's best that you are not too ambitious with weak strength. The old Taoist snorted and then looked over with widened eyes. What did you just say? I said that I've taught myself the contents of the Tenth Scroll of Yimu True Flame. The middle-aged Taoist in the black and white Taoist robe said. Then, with a wave of his hand. Orange flames with pale blue edges floated in the air. This is indeed the power of the level 10 Yimu true flame. The old Taoist gazed at the flames before him in doubt. But the colors don't look right. They should have white edges instead of blue edges. I never heard of them being orange with blue edges. This is the improved Yimu true flame after I read the heavenly book and studied the Nanming Li fire. These flames are 10 to 20 percent more powerful than the original ones. What? The old Taoist was stupefied while he looked at his junior brother with widened eyes, chapter 354, who is more powerful. Wang Lingxiao is the current Nanhu faction master. Usually at this time, 
He was either handling the faction affairs in Tanhua Hall or cultivating in his own room. However, today, he walked out of the faction with the Xixi spiritual master and the ethereal spiritual master wearing a white robe that was for people lower than ordinary elders. With him were a few elders with high positions and power in the Nanhua faction. Hey, what is this thing that needs us to see in person? Can't you bring it back to the faction? An elder with white hair asked curiously. It's said that the Xixi spiritual master discovered an ancient relic named, um, Imai. And there is someone named the Yukon Blood Demon. He is super powerful and needs our combined force to deal with. I heard that it's just a small shop. How can it be a small shop? With my tight schedule, why would I come to visit a small shop? It's an ancient cave abode named the Blood Dripping Cave. And there's a heavenly book in there. I heard that there are some extremely powerful treasures such as the Heavenly Mirror and Immortal Slaying Sword. Hearing their discussions. The Xixi spiritual master and ethereal spiritual master looked at each other and shook their heads in embarrassment. They really need to come out and experience the world the ethereal spiritual master's lips twitched. If they hadn't witnessed and experienced them in person, the people in this world wouldn't have known what internet cafes, computers, virtual reality, TV series, and games were. Since they couldn't explain everything to them in detail in a short session. There were great differences between the explanation and what had been understood by these elders. That was how things turned out to be. Anyway, the Xixi spiritual master and ethereal spiritual master didn't care about what these elders had understood as long as they went to the internet cafe with them. Meanwhile in the forbidden place in the black mountain of the Nanhua faction dash, these old guys found a large ancient relic, no maybe more than one relic. The person with white hair and chilly light in her eyes was the previous Nanhua Heaven Fairy and the Guardian of the Forbidden Place. Shui Xianyun narrowed her eyes. These guys were indeed lucky to have found a group of ancient relics, and the effects seem to be very good. You found out the cause? Yes, Shui Xianyun snickered and said, it was a coincidence. It seems that the recent issues we are experiencing are caused by a force that controls a group of relics. We had lured a lot of disciples, but quite a few of them experienced increases in strength in these relics effectively. Also, a portion of the disciples of Nanhui who weren't controlled by us yet were taken to that place. So, it's just a coincidence. They are recruiting people into the relics and thus interfered with a lot of our businesses, Shui Xianyun said. I'm afraid so. Ha 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 ha. That voice laughed wildly. Relics? They are just a joke. In front of the power of my kind, humans are just like ants. If not for my carelessness, I wouldn't have been trapped here after being sneak attacked by those young cowards. Now, those cowards all died due to their severe injuries. But my power has been growing non-stop. His voice oozed fury and hatred. When I come out, I'll enslave all your disciples and grand disciples and kill anyone who disobeys me. Congratulations for your growth of power, Saint Lord. An evil smile appeared on Shui Xianyan's face. Meanwhile, the elders of the major factions had begun watching Jade Dynasty and Xiu Mountain, some were even taken to check out The Legend of Mir 2, Grand Theft Auto 5, or Harry Potter experiencing other unimaginable civilizations. The players in the half-city shop were mostly cultivators in the city. But now, the number of players from other places in the Morning Star Sea Realm began to grow. In the lounge area of the shop, the masters and elders of major factions sat down after watching movies or playing games with a box of spicy sticks before them. As a faction master, Wang Lingxiao slowly moved his head in circles and murmured with an old Daoist who was in a black and white Taoist robe sitting next to him, at the beginning of the world, chaos filled the space with the sun and the moon concealing their light, the boundaries of heaven and earth were blurred. Then, they began to take shape, and the pure and turbid began to separate. The content of the heavenly book is indeed profound and mysterious. I've memorized the words but the meaning is still hard to grasp. It's not that difficult, the old Taoist beside him said with disdain, it explains the complementary effects of opposite things, and it's also demonstrated in Tai Chi mystic pure Tao which combines yin and yang and the heavenly lightning dual swords which repel and assist each other. Tanxu Taoist, 
I'm talking about the heavenly book in Jade Dynasty, how did you drag it to Shu Mountain? What heavenly lightning dual swords? If not for the Naming Li fire sword, the owners of the heavenly lightning dual swords would have died. Beel shit. Tank Su Daoist was instantly furious when he heard Wang Ling Xiao say that the Heavenly Lightning Dual Swords were no match for the Nunming Li Fire Sword. The combination of the Dual Swords fits the idea that Yin and Yang represents everything in the world. How can the power of the Heaven and the Earth be weaker than the Nunming Li Fire Sword? What nonsense are you sprouting? What Heavenly Lightning Dual Swords? What Nunming Li Fire Sword? Sitting near them was a middle-aged man wearing a sapphire Taoist robe, who was the Heran faction master. This movie talks about the grand orthodox chi between the sky and the earth. Didn't you hear the white-browed spiritual master repeatedly say that the grand orthodox chi exists forever in the space between the sky and the earth? Note, Heran also means grand. While stroking his beard, the grey-clothed elder with the surname Juan said, Right. If our Heran faction could make use of this grand orthodox chi, then our heaven conforming grand sword would be able to unleash unimaginable power. What are you talking about? The middle aged Taoist from Yimu Taoist Palace was holding a mass of orange flames with blue edges in his hand. If I didn't sense the power of the Nanming Li fire in Xu Mountain, I would probably have been stuck at level 9 of the Yimu True Flame. I've never sensed this power in other weapons. The Nanming Li Fire Sword is the most powerful. Junior brother, what are you talking about? Tank Su Daoist was furious that his junior brother stood with people outside of their faction against him. The Heavenly Lightning Dual Swords are unrivaled in the whole world. Nanming Li Fire Sword, it is probably not even half as powerful as that of the Immortal Slaying Sword Array. Bealshit. Wang Ling Xiao said with displeasure, the immortal slaying sword array is no match for one strike of the Nunming Li fire sword. The fans of Jade Dynasty were not pleased. Why are you belittling our immortal slaying sword array? I can explode the whole Imai mountain with one sword strike. How can you explode the Imai mountain with one sword strike? The fans of Xu Mountain were angry. Do you think our heavenly lightning dual swords are so lame? Obviously. Many of the old customers were fans of Jade Dynasty, and Red Wing Daoist was one of them. If you're so powerful, come and battle with me. I'll use a spiritual spell I've improved after reading the Heavenly Book. Do you think I'm afraid of you? On the other side, Tank Su Daoist emitted black and white spiritual light. You obtained some inspiration, do you think I got nothing? Go outside if you want to fight. Mr. Fang's face turned dark. Let's go outside. I just don't believe that there's anything more powerful than the heavenly lightning dual swords. You all got it wrong. The most powerful thing is the grand orthodox chi. Can you block my heaven conforming grand sword? A group of combative people walked outside, ready to battle. Chapter 355, Pirate Plan Compared to the combative atmosphere in the half-city shop. The people in the Jewa City shop were much friendlier with each other. By now, many of them had reached the limit of their daily computer time. Nalan Hongwu, Lan Mo, Zhu De Olf, and the other Grand Masters sat on the couch while the people from the academies and factions and even some independent warriors stood around them either with a bottle of coke or a bowl of instant noodles in their hands. Okay, I'll talk about the sword control technique. While sipping coke and picking up a spicy stick, Zhu Deolf looked around him as if he was a great mentor. The sword control technique of the Xu Mountain faction, the MI faction, and the Green Cloud faction each has its own merits. The talented people can try to learn the good parts of these techniques, and the people with less talent can focus on one faction's technique. Now, I will share with you my inspirations from these three kinds of sword control technique. Palace Masters you. Song Kingfing was good at sword control technique and driving cars. He had often ridden with these grand masters, so he wasn't meek in front of them, he asked. Although these sword control techniques each has its own merits, as warriors, we can only practice the sword control technique of the Xu Mountain faction, right? Good question, Zhu Deolf said with a smile. I guess you must all have read the Heavenly Book and it talks about a concept that all the techniques in the world lead to the same source. In theory, as long as your essence or chi is pure enough, the different methods don't matter to you. However, 
it's true in theory and I think for now, the sword control technique of the Su Mountain faction is more appropriate for warriors, putting a spicy stick into his mouth, Zhu Deolf continued, as you all know, the key to the sword control technique of the Su Mountain faction is controlling sword with Qi, which is either spiritual essence or warrior Qi, instructor Mu, you're here too? Lan Yan was watching from the back while sipping coke, soon, she spotted a woman wearing a red leather vest, yeah? Mu Hongzu nodded and said in earnest, otherwise, I'll lag behind my own students. Although she still couldn't fully understand some of the things that she had learned, she could teach the students the inspiration and understanding that she had obtained, including the improved versions of some combat techniques as well as her understanding of the sword techniques and cultivation techniques such as the sword control technique and saint spiritual sword technique etc. As an instructor, Mu Hongzu was considering teaching the students some new stuff in the class. Anyway, Linian Academy had been making big changes in the school. The instructors had to be familiar with at least one movie, one TV series, or a game to be qualified to become a higher level instructor. As for the grandmasters such as Zhu Deolf and Nalan Hongwu, they gained a deeper understanding than the low-leveled cultivators even though they watched the same shows and played the same games. Outside the half-city shop, firelights danced, and sword shadows swept in the air. Check out my Yimutru flame. Waves of flames danced outside the shop with their shadows. It's nothing. Watch my sky burning red flame. Yima green sun scroll. Seven tribulation dragon slaying spell. A wave of vague sword shadows flashed in front of the shop. Instantly, the sword shadows surged up like a mountain. Damn it. When did you get the chance to learn the seven tribulation dragon slaying spell? A Taoist wearing a black and white robe yelled in astonishment. Ha ha. Are you surprised? I've even begun learning the ghost god slaying spell. After I master it, I can kill you with one sword strike. Do you think you're using dual flames? They are all useless. A black-robed cultivator entered the fray and cast a spiritual spell. Instantly, a gloomy and horrifying blood-colored shadow rose into the sky before them. Damn it, you quin old demon, what do you want? Ha 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 ha. Black demon laughed wildly. This is a spiritual spell that I copied from Yukon's roar the other day which shattered the mountains and cracked the ground. Can you block my roar? Even though it's just a mimic, it is quite powerful. Suddenly, a red shadow quickly expanded in front of the shop until it was as high as a two-story building. It was a huge, two-horned rare beast that was emitting flames. Do you dare to roar at my dog? Zhu Shilong had the dragon pattern sword in his hand and the huge godly beast before him obviously had reached level 7, it was a horrifying sight, ha 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 ha. On the side, Tang Yuan stroked his beard with a smile, Taoist Zhu, you summoned such a big dog, aren't you afraid that I will cast the holy word spell on it, don't you dare immediately, Zhu Shilong shrank his godly beast to its original size and hid it behind him, after all, it took him great efforts to train it to level 7, and it would be tragic if it were killed by a holy word spell. Ha 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 ha. Du An Yue, the grey-robed elder of the Haran faction walked out of the shop while laughing. Junior brother, why are you so happy? The Haran faction master asked in surprise. Well, I just talked with the cultivators of Darjin on QQ and found that they have special skills in artifact making. Du An Yue said. Senior brother, let's go back now and prepare the materials. Maybe we can make mimic the heavenly mirror. What? All the arguments instantly stopped while everyone looked toward Du An Yue. What did you just say? Don't look at me like that, Du An Yue said. Of course, we couldn't mimic one that is as powerful as the original heavenly mirror, but if we can understand its structure and the engraved runes and auspicious patterns, we might be able to make a knockoff version of the heavenly mirror. After all, the cultivators in this world were not morons. With the original item placed before them for them to study, if they couldn't figure something out of it, they would have wasted many years. Good, good, good. The Haran faction master said in exhilaration, as long as you think it's likely that we can achieve this, 
all the resources and manpower of the Haran faction are at your disposal. Ugh. This Tank Sudaist of the Yimudaoist Palace came over and said while rubbing his hands. It will take at least 10 years for a couple of cultivators to obtain a total understanding of this thing. Why not? The UI Daoist Alliance suggested that we can build a group chat in QQ and share the results of our research. Good idea. Let's go and create this group chat. We can try to make a few super supreme treasures as those in the Amai faction. Even if our disciples are not strong, they can destroy invaders with these treasures. Ha ha ha. Right. We'd better make the kinds with high spiritual properties so no one can use them even if they are taken from us. After talking the masters of the major factions looked at each other and said, maybe we can put even more resources into this project. Chapter 356, Scheduling Battle, under the urgings from cultivators of the Jew City Shop and Half City Shop. A group chat named High Level Artifact Masters Communication Group was established on QQ. Jun Yang Tsai, hello, diced friends, do you are new eh? Hello, diced friends from Jua City. I heard that you're studying runes, magic, and technology. How is it going with your research? Li Haran, fucking great. Do you are new eh? Jun Yang Tsai, mind your language. Okay. Don't use the cuss words you learned from Grand Theft Auto. It just slipped out. Li Haran looked embarrassed beside his master. As the master of the Yuan Hing Pavilion, a shop selling all kinds of rare treasures. Tang Yuan was a high-level artifact master himself. How are you planning to study it? Not only Tang Yuan, but many cultivators with high-level artifact making skills in Half City joined the group as well. Even Gong Yixu of the Yundian Upper Realm took the opportunity to shamelessly slip into the group. There were many artifact masters in this group already. Jun Yang Tsai, we divided the research into three categories, which are life warfare, and small-scale fights involving spiritual spells and treasures. We're studying crystal energy cars, a new communication jade, magic spells in Harry Potter, etc. As for guns and magic installation, we've produced some mature products. Obviously, the UI Daoist Alliance, which had entered these areas quite early, had begun some advanced research projects. Looking at the long list that Jun Yanzi showed them, the artifact masters in the half city shop were very surprised. Diced friend Jun Yang Tsai. How should we begin if we want to study the interior structure of the heavenly mirror or the immortal slaying sword array? I mean, do you are new? I asked cautiously. Many of our factions plan to put great resources into this research and want to make a high quality imitation of the heavenly mirror. Do you think we can do it? Jun Yang Tsai. You can learn the artifact making method of the Sioux Mountain faction. According to my observations, these two factions have similar artifact making methods, and you can get some inspiration from them. Do you are new? Eh? The problem is that the shop over here doesn't have the legend of the sword and fairy yet. Yun Yang Tsai, I asked the shop owner, and he said that the game will be released soon in the shop in your city. Before it comes out, you can bring your questions to me. Do you are new? Eh? Thank you very much. Jun Yang Tsai chuckled and said, Don't mention it, your skills in artifact making are much higher than ours, and I hope you can help us in the future. How did it go? At this moment, the faction masters were all standing behind Du An Yu. Good. Du An Yu I leaned back on the computer chair and looked at the screen. Despite the conflicts in the legend of Mir 2 with us, these guys are quite nice and straightforward. We can share our research results and help each other, so I guess the research process won't be too slow. After all, the two parties were far apart in real life, and they didn't have any conflicts of interest excepting for fighting each other in the game. More importantly, some of the guys didn't play the Legend of Mir 2, so the people from the two regions played and drove cars together in Grand Theft Auto 5. Good. Tank Su Daoist clapped his hands in appreciation and said, After the project is done, we will each have a heavenly mirror. Du An Yui's face twitched as he said, It's only an imitation, and I'm sure it will cost lots of resources. For such a fucking good item, I don't care about how much it will cost. Wang Ling Xiao said with a snort. Then, he saw everyone staring at him. Wang Ling Xiao asked, Why are you staring at me like that? Did I say something wrong? Everyone replied, Faction Master Wang, you're right. For such a fucking good item, 
We shouldn't worry about how many resources it will cost. They nodded repeatedly. Let's join in the group chat in QQ and watch Sue Mountain again tomorrow. Your computer time is up. Do our new stood up and dusted his butt? Let's go. Let's go. It's disgusting that we are not given even one extra minute. As a warrior, Nalan Hongwu watched certain episodes of Wind and Cloud each day, such as the episode where the Sword Saint used Sword 23 and the two episodes where no name, Wu Ming, recovered his cultivation strength and mastered the technique named innumerable swords returning to root. In the courtyard of the Nalan family, Nalan Hongwu pointed out his index and middle fingers, and a surge of overwhelming sword energy shot out from his body. The big courtyard was filled by murderous spirit. The heavenly sword is too high and too mysterious, and I'm afraid that I can't reach the realm of no name, who can make tens of thousands of swords submit to him. As for Sword 23, it's a bit too risky and dangerous to understand this sword technique since it's something beyond the mortal world. The sharp sword energy swept across the courtyard and shattered the plants and trees into dust. Sword 1. Sword 2. Sword 3. One by one, he cast the saint spiritual sword techniques smoothly. As the sword energies moved faster, they almost knocked down all the walls around the courtyard and left many deep cuts in the ground. Meanwhile in the morning star sea realm, the cultivators who were not artifact masters were also busy. In the cloudy sky above the sea outside half city, many cultivators hovered in the air. Tank Su Daoist. Wang Ling Xiao stood in the air with his hands clasped behind his back. The previous battle is not finished yet. I must show you the truth as for which is more powerful the Nunming Li Fire Sword or the Heavenly Lightning Dual Swords. On the other side, the Haran Faction Master also hovered in the air, coldly gazing at the cultivators of Half City. You're all learning the unorthodox evil spells. Which one of you rebuffed my claim and said that Grand Orthodox Chi is garbage and the Yukon Blood Demon is the fucking greatest? Stand out. The cultivators of Half City were silent. After all, Many of them had just reached the early or middle stage of Divine Ocean Realm and were not as powerful as the old monsters in the inner city. How could they rival the Heron faction master? Even Black Demon, the most active one among them who had even imitated some power of Yukon Blood Demon, now looked embarrassed. At this moment, a soft chuckle came into their ears. Faction Master Xi, it's beneath you to bully the cultivators of the early and middle stage of the Divine Ocean Realm. Do you want to fight Big Sister instead? The elders of your Haran faction can join you and battle me together if you want. Xi Long Chi, the Haran faction master was surprised, and his face changed color. How come this demonic woman is here? With someone more powerful supporting them, Black Demon and the others were emboldened. I did say that Yukon is the most powerful. What now? Two hours later dash. The hair of people like Wang Ling Xiao and Tan Xu Daist were disheveled with some missing, and their clothes were ripped and torn. Daist friend. Wang, wait until I recover my breath. Then, I will reason with you. How come this Daist has such a deep understanding of the mysterious concept of yin and yang? Wang Ling Xiao was also out of breath. Humphrey, we'll stop today with a draw. But it's not because the heavenly lightning dual swords are more powerful. It is because I haven't fully understood the essence of the Nanming Li fire. I'll fight you again after watching the movie tomorrow. On the other side, the disheveled Heron faction master yelled, The Grand Orthodox Chi exists forever. To tomorrow, if you dare, don't run after you get offline. I haven't fully comprehended the theory yet. The Grand Orthodox Chi didn't lose to your unorthodox evil spells. Seeing the Heron faction master fleeing with the elders, Ning Bai narrowed her eyes and instantly healed that one bloody scratch on her face with a brush of her hand, the others didn't notice when it appeared. These little guys of her own faction have improved a lot lately. Interesting, she murmured to herself, it seems that I've got to work harder and obtain the secret skill scroll of the divine light of Oki from the king of fighters, otherwise, I'll disgrace myself by losing to these guys later on. Chapter 357 coming out soon. While the masters and elders of the major factions of the Morning Star Sea Realm battled outside of Half City, the place in front of the shop became the practice field for the disciples and young cultivators. The number of young cultivators had been growing in the shop. After watching Xu Mountain and Jade Dynasty, they soon gathered in the place before the shop. Comparatively, 
the Imayan green clouds technique of flying on swords had higher skill thresholds than that of Xu Mountain faction, but the learning process was simpler than the latter. To learn the sword control technique of the Xu Mountain faction, one didn't have to use a sword made of high quality material. When one mastered the use of qi, even flowers, leaves, or an ordinary wooden sword could be used to cast this technique. It meant that it had a high requirement for the control of qi. However, to learn the sword control technique of MI and Green Cloud, one must first acquire a spiritual sword with abundant spiritual essence or a better sword with a trace of spiritual properties to achieve the effect of merging oneself with the sword to achieve flight. To encourage the elite disciples to master the sword control techniques, the forces had put lots of resources into it. For example, Beneath Liu Ninian's feet was a long spiritual sword emitting pale blue crystal luster, it was made with the extremely precious deep sea mystic jade. At this moment, she flew out of the shop, and only a blue sword light could be seen, it was a celestial and elegant sight. The female disciples with Moxian looked envious. When can we do it as well as junior sister Liu? Shakily stepping on spiritual swords in front of the shop. They disdainfully looked at the cultivators who were still practicing the sword control technique. Obviously, flying on the sword was much more difficult than the ordinary offensive moves of the sword control technique. After all, while holding on to their own weight, they must make sure not to fall while moving swiftly. However, Attacking with the sword control technique only required one to maneuver one sword properly. The degree of difficulty of the two skills were not on the same level. In the UI Daoist Alliance Dash Master. In the artifact making room, Li Heran stood with two middle aged artifact masters, and they each held a platter covered by a silk handkerchief. To imitate the heavenly mirror, we've finally chosen three precious materials for the body of this spiritual artifact. He pulled the cover on one platter and revealed a square jade box. When he opened the jade box, shiny crystal light came out. As the light faded away, a white, translucent crystal that was about the size of a grain of rice appeared. Then, he revealed another platter, and there was a white and smooth stone on it. At a closer look, one could see faint spiritual patterns on it. It was quite mystical. On the last platter was a rectangle box, inside was a palm-sized, flat object. It looked like neither gold nor jade, it was more like it had been made from bones. These boxes contain a 5,000 year old dragon mystic crystal, a meteorite, and a bone from a prehistoric relic that has extremely good spiritual properties. Jun Yang Tsai nodded and said, Thank you for your hard work. I'm surprised that we can only find three materials to make the imitation of the heavenly mirror with the power of the entire UI Taoist alliance. But this bone looks good with its abundant spiritual essence. This bone comes from Yundian upper realm, Li Heran said. They want to join our project. What are they doing here? Many artifact masters looked angry. Aren't they minions of the three saint gates? Now that they saw that our UI Taoist alliance is prospering, they want to share the benefits, Jun Yang Tsai said with a smile, aren't they still negotiating the compensation? Report to his majesty and ask him to include this bone into their compensation. As for them joining our project, we can allow one of them to enter the project, and we can take this opportunity to figure out their purpose. What else could it be? Du An Bu Ai said in disapproval. Their purpose is obviously stealing knowledge from us after knowing that we started the research earlier than them. Don't worry about that, Jun Yang Tsai said, with Mr. Fang's shop standing there, they will catch up sooner or later despite our early start. We can take this opportunity to learn the more advanced artifact making knowledge from the Yundian upper realm as well. Besides, I have a feeling that the three sent gates are plotting something. Although our crisis is over. Many big forces are looking at us with strange lights in their eyes, Jun Yang Tsai said, as a precaution, if we can bring Yundian Upper Realm onto our boat, that will alleviate the pressure on us. You're right, Taoist brother Jun Yang Tsai, besides the UI Taoist Alliance, the major forces of the Morning Star Sea Realm were also busy with the research on imitating the spiritual artifacts.
the artifact masters were enjoying the peak time of their careers since they could study the super supreme treasures that had horrifying power and was made using a totally strange method under the support of most of the major forces in the morning star sea realm. They could choose materials from piles of precious items, study the structures of super supreme treasures, and tried to make a horribly powerful supreme treasure that they had never imagined before. They were in the best artifact making environment of all time. Little shop owner, are the items in your shop really so powerful? While controlling the joystick, Ning Bai asked doubtfully. Maybe not. Mr. Fang controlled Ori Yagami and used the desperation move, Shiki Yatome, while he said with a poker face, the stuff in my shop are all garbage. Ning Bai said, Big sister just wants to know if you're afraid that someone will try to rob the exceptional stuff in your shop. I am. Can you protect me, by the way? Mr. Fang had just casually killed Ning Bai's Athena with a combo. Ning Bai had never seen anyone say that they were scared with such a casual expression. How can you ask me to protect you while you are not even going easy on me? Obviously, Mr. Fang's way of talking put an end to the conversation. In addition, he easily killed the three characters on Ning Bai's team, showing no mercy at all. Mr. Fang lit up a cigarette and said, You must be nimble and clever to play the King of Fighters. If you continue playing it this way, you won't defeat Oki, let alone playing the character and unlocking Oki's spiritual spells. We'll continue tomorrow. She needed a break. With a wave of fragrance, she was gone. Mr. Fang scratched his head. Uh, we were having a good time, right? Meanwhile, things continue to brew in the black mountain of the Nanhua faction. A gloomy voice sounded, and hatred which had been pent up for many years oozed out of it. Hurry up. Tell the people of the Feng family to speed up. I'll soon break out from this damned restriction array. Chapter 358, Crisis in the Nanhua faction. In the bottom right corner of Jun Yanzi's computer, the icon of the high-level artifact master's communication group had been jumping frequently, it jumped several times each second. Note, in QQ, the icon of a group chat will jump when someone sends a new message. Screenshot, how come these engravings can't reach the ideal power level? Where did I go wrong? Is there anyone who has experience in this subject? Redwing Daoist. The dragon slaying sword in Jade Dynasty seems to be made of 10,000 year old green crystal, any swords made with green crystal are sharper than anything else. I want to find a substitute with similar power. Do any of you have a good suggestion? Gong Yixu, you can't find a substitute since I've been looking for it as well and failed. Maybe you can try the Mystic Water Chili Crystal. By increasing its sharp metal essence with the five element derivative method, you might be able to mimic 70% of its power. Redwing Daoist, but it goes against my red flames attribute. Gong Yixu, that's easy. You can use Earth Vein Flame Gold. Redwing Daoist, then, my seven tribulation dragon slaying spell would release red light instead of the original green light. It will feel weird. How come I can't imitate the flow of the spiritual essence in this part of the heavenly mirror? Can any of you explain why? Screenshot. The auspicious pattern of this part should be a phoenix, right? How come I can't make it right? Do an buai. I checked the texts on the Xiu Mountain faction and found that the auspicious bird is the godly bird jiming of the south. It looks like a phoenix but you'll encounter problems if you engrave a phoenix on it. There's such a bird, how come I've never heard of it before? Many people send messages to show their appreciation after seeing this message. Soon, Jun Yanzi asked in the group, this spiritual artifact is hard to make. The difficulty lies in the control of the temperature. If we turn the temperature too low, the fire would be extinguished. Do you are new it? but you still have the water method of making artifacts and the steaming method of getting essence. Right, Jun Yang Tsai. What's that? I've never heard of it before, Husky's puzzled face. Do you are new eh? Don't you have these artifact making methods over there? Jun Yang Tsai. You have these good methods. Can you tell me about it? Question mark. Wait a second, do you are new I glanced at his communication jade. Some new artifact masters arrived, and I must make some arrangement for them. Jun Yang Tsai. You're all together? The icon of the Artifact Masters group chat kept jumping all the time, and dozens of messages flooded the screen in a short moment. A few days later in the Artifact Masters group chat, 
Yu An Yue. The artifact masters of Yu Wai Daoist Alliance are awesome. With the information about auspicious creatures that you guys provided, we've successfully finished researching several of them. By the way, your Liu Ocean Fire Refinery is interesting, and it's about time for us to try making a prototype of the Heavenly Mirror. Du An Buai, your water refinery method is also great, and it helped us solve the problem that we encountered earlier. It seems that we can begin on the first step of the mimicking project. Meanwhile, in the air above the sea outside Half City, Faction Master Wang, do you think that you can defeat me just because you gained the upper hand yesterday? Tank Su Daoist raised his head and laughed smugly, I thought level 10 was the highest level of the Yimu True Flame, but now I know how wrong I was. Now, I've understood the essence of level 11 of the True Flame. After some time of practice, I will surpass all my predecessors. Today, I'll show you the power of the new Yimu True Flame. Yang Flame, go. An orange red flame shot out from his hand like a mini sun. The moment that the flame was shot out. The whole space above the sea turned as hot as a huge stove. Wang Ling Xiao yelled in a weird tone, What's this damn thing? Ha ha ha. Are you afraid? You think I'm afraid? Spiritual light lit up in Wang Ling Xiao's hand. Today, I'll show you the true power of heavenly light. In the space above the sea outside half city, flames shot up into the sky on the left while lightning bolts rolled on the right. Under the flashing sword energies and the crashing lightning, the ocean waves surged up threatening to swallow the sky and the earth. It looked as if the sky would collapse at any moment now. Meanwhile, all the cultivators who were entering or leaving Half City looked up at the sky as if they had seen a ghost. They keep a good distance from this area, afraid this fierce battle would hurt them. Junior Sister Liu, shall we have a sword control technique competition? Moxian said proudly. She had recently mastered flying on swords and felt extremely good about herself. Right now. She was proudly standing on the black immortal sword in the air before the shop. Okay. Suddenly, Liu Ninian's expression changed. Junior sister, what's wrong? Surprised, Moxian touched her own communication jade at her belt, and her expression changed as well. Senior sister, you got the message as well? Liu Ninian asked grimly. Moxian said with a nod, yeah, something happened in the faction. We must return now. What happened? Yu Yan asks in a low voice, everything was fine yesterday. How come we have an emergency today? How should I know? Moxian frowned. But it's an urgent summon, it wouldn't be issued if there isn't a crisis. In the forbidden place in the Black Mountain of the Nanhua faction dash, a shrilling roar came from the forbidden place in the Black Mountain. It sounded like a booming thunder or the roar of a horrifying demon beast from ancient times. This roar shattered all the stone tablets in the Black Mountain and shook the mountains all over the Nanhua faction as if an earthquake were happening. What's happening? What happened? The disciples of the Nanhua faction looked terrified and the elders who stayed in the faction looked ashen-faced. Forbidden place. It came from the forbidden place? Impossible. After all, the elder guarding the forbidden place had a cultivation level as high as that of the faction master. Isn't that elder guarding the forbidden place? Was the forbidden place broken into? With several furious roars, a few figures flew to the forbidden place at the Black Mountain where thick dark red clouds surged up in the sky, and violent winds howled sending sand and rocks flying. The entire forbidden place at the Black Mountain was engulfed by demonic clouds. A demon is coming out. These are the signs that the demon is coming out. A white-haired elder pointed at the sky, looking terrified. Where's the first elder? Isn't she guarding this place? A few elders broke through the thick clouds and went into the forbidden place to investigate. Are you looking for me, junior brothers? A white-haired woman looking to be somehow in her twenties sat on the stone cliff, looking at them with interest. Red clouds swept up, and the elders vanished while screaming as if they had never existed in this world. It seems like those little guys of Feng family have finished their work. Now, I only need to go to two places to get back my flesh and bones. In the thick clouds, it seemed like a pair of evil eyes stared at the sky. Even you guys couldn't block one strike from me. I'll see how your disciples and grand disciples will fight me. Chapter 359, Catastrophe. In the high level artifact master communication group dash, Li Haran, how come the group is much so quieter today? Jun Yangtze, 
Most of the people over here are still online, but how come the artifact masters in Half City are so quiet today? At you are new at artifact master Yanhua spiritual master at Xinfeng Tsai. Jun Yang Tsai used the symbol apostrophe at to try to contact them but no one responded. Weird. Maybe they are busy making artifacts. They were making artifacts yesterday, and some of them were still in the group chat. Meanwhile in the heaven conforming tower of the Haran faction dash. This was the legendary place where a demon was suppressed. In the past hundreds of years, the heaven conforming tower had been quiet and solid without any disturbances. Seeing that they were alone, the elite disciples guarding the tower from the outside were either bored after standing for a long time or stretching their stiff bodies. Why are we guard this damn tower? One of the disciples complained, in my opinion, that demon must have died long ago after being suppressed under the heaven conforming tower for more than 1000 years. Yeah, it's been so many years and nothing happened. Maybe it died long ago. While these two disciples were complaining, red clouds suddenly appeared in the sky above the heaven conforming tower. What's that? They looked up at the sky in horror, the blue sky had suddenly turned dark red, the thick clouds covered the sky and hovered at a low altitude, and the previously clear sky instantly turned as dark as night. What what's that? Horrified. A disciple pointed at the sky when a huge horrifying face came out of the center of the thick clouds. This face opened its mouth and sucked everything on the ground into the air, including the white treasure tower behind them. It looked like a hurricane had descended. Beneath the treasure tower was a piece of an extremely big skeleton. Then, the whole mountain cracked open with rocks and soil flying everywhere, revealing a huge vicious skeleton with two horns and a wicked ghost-like face. No, the demon suppressed under the heaven conforming tower is coming out. Sensing the upheaval, many cultivators of the Haran faction including elders and elite cultivators flew up into the sky. In the blink of an eye, dozens of elite cultivators above the true lake realm and a few elders at the divine ocean realm rushed to the site. Build the major heavenly array. A white-robed elder yelled. The huge skeleton opened its mouth and roared. The roar shook the sky and the earth. The cultivators flying toward it felt as if they were hit by a huge hammer on the chest and spat out blood with pale faces. You tiny fireflies dare to compete with the light from the bright moon? Boom. The skeleton lifted a claw bone and pressed down with its sharp bony fingertip. A bunch of ants. The thick clouds seemed so near to the ground that the sky looked like it was crashing down. A horrifying pressure crashed down viciously like Thai Mountain pressing down on an egg. The low-level cultivators were instantly exploded into clouds of bloody mist, and even the high-level elders at the Divine Ocean Realm had their meridians and bones broken while blood oozed out from their eyes, noses, ears, and mouth. You're so weak, Saint Lord. Your superpower is unrivaled in the whole mortal world. How can we mortals be a match for you? That old and genial Taoist with white hair fluttering in the wind stood in the sky with a fawning smile. Meanwhile in the distant Yemu Taoist palace, which was at the very north of the morning star sea realm dash, the mountain under a remote Taoist temple far from the main Yemu Taoist palace buildings suddenly shook. Then, the whole mountain let out booming noises as if someone were beating on a huge drum. The ground cracked open as if something suppressed underground was being summoned out from beneath the mountain. How come the shop is so quiet today? Mr. Fang looked around and found that at least one third of the customers were missing. Then, he heard people screaming in alarm outside the shop while pointing at the sky. Look over there. It was dark in the distant sky. In the darkness, it seemed like a horrifying demonic shadow was disturbing the winds and clouds, and its horrifying presence sent chills down people's spines even from the distance. What's that damn thing? Mr. Fang frowned and felt that things weren't that simple. From the looks of it, I'm afraid that a demon has come out. Standing beside him, Motan Xing looked gloomy. More than 1000 years ago, a demonic catastrophe almost destroyed the cultivation world of the Morning Star Sea Realm. After 1000 years, another catastrophe seems to be coming our way at a great speed. So powerful? Mr. Fang glanced at the cultivators around him in surprise. What demon is it? Is it this powerful? Our Mo family lost all of our masters in that demonic catastrophe. Motan Xing's face dimmed at this memory. Otherwise, if the Mo family was still at its prime, I wouldn't have been living like a refugee, 
hiding in half city. Meanwhile in the Nanhua faction dash, the whole Nanhua faction was engulfed by dark clouds. Crazy. They are all crazy. My senior brother is crazy. He tried to kill me. So is my senior sister and my master. They are all mad. A disciple of the Nanhua faction hid in his room shivering all over. If the situation continues, I'll go mad too. No, they will probably kill me as well. Terror filled his face. In the Heron faction dash, faced with their horrifying demonic power, the cultivators could do nothing but flee. The slower ones were caught by red clouds, and they screamed in horror. Soon, other disciples were hunted by their senior brothers, elders, and masters who had been turned into fierce ghosts. Where is the faction master? Where is he? An elder roared in fury. He seemed to have gone to watch a movie with some elders, another elder answered with a terrified expression. Watch. Movie? The white-haired elder cussed immediately on the spot. All the disciples, retreat out of the mountain. Retreat. Now, all of you, retreat. After the destruction of the Nanhua faction and the Haran faction, it's now the Yimudaoist palace's turn. In the dark clouds, a huge demonic face seemed to be roaring in fury. Anyone who obeys me will be rewarded, anyone who works against me will die. Yes, Saint Lord. Several cultivators of the Feng family lowered their heads and said respectfully, as for the rewards that the Saint Lord promised us, a blood-colored crystal suddenly appeared in the sky. This contains a trace of my understanding of the laws of the world. You can take it and try to understand the power inside. The genial, celestial-looking old man was elated. Thank you. Saint Lord. Meanwhile, many beams of light shot into the Nanhua faction like shooting stars. Wang Lingxiao's eyes turned red as he looked at the ruins before him. Nanhua faction. How come my Nanhua faction has turned into this state? Demon. The Xixi spiritual master said in horror, it looks exactly the same as the demon emergence described in the documents of our faction. Soon, they saw the damaged black mountain and found that the entire forbidden place had been razed to the ground. The Haran faction master sent the message saying that Haran faction was ruined. That demon is on its way to Yimudaoist palace. Tanksu spiritual master sent the message saying that the suppressed demon body has gotten out and probably has merged with the demon soul. Wang Lingxiao's face paled. It means that we'll face a demon in its prime just like in the demonic catastrophe 1000 years ago. In the blink of an eye, the emergence of the demon became a horrifying catastrophe, sweeping all over the world. Chapter 360, This is not Yimu True Flame. Ah! The blood red crystal suddenly turned into many distorted tentacles, piercing into the eyes, nose, mouth, and ears of the Feng family master. Old demon! What are you doing? One cultivator of the Feng family beside him yelled and condensed his spiritual essence to hack toward the tentacles like a sharp blade. You want to kill us after using us? What are we doing? On the side, Shui Xianyan showed a wicked smile. Can't you pay this little price for what you want, Feng Don't move. The old man's white hair was swiftly turning black while his appearance gradually got younger until he looked to be only about 40 years old. The gloomy ghost-like aura that was well hidden grew tremendously strong. Family master, you when Feng Zengi I turned, that cultivator saw his eyes emitting evil light which didn't belong to humans. Feng Zengi I opened his fingers, and a horrifying suction force came out of his palms. Then, a series of shrills sounded and that cultivator soon turned into a dry corpse as if his bone marrow had been sucked out before falling from the sky. Ha 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 ha! Sensing the surging strength in his body, Feng Zengi I raised his head and laughed, Nanhua faction, Haran faction, and Yimudaoist faction. You're all garbage. My lord, you don't have to show your hand and waste energy, I think with my current strength, I can deal with these garbage factions for you. Then, you can show us what realm your strength has reached, Feng family master. Shui Xianyan licked her bright red lips like a seductive beautiful snake. In the Yimu Daoist palace dash, Tang Su Daoist stood at the foot of the mountain with some elders and elite disciples and watched the surging red clouds. Tang Su Daoist looked grim. The demon mountain of our Yimu Daoist palace was destroyed, the Nanhua faction and the Haran faction were both conquered as well. 
and their disciples and elders became this demon's minions. The situation looks even worse than the catastrophe 1000 years ago. I've sent messages to the other factions and families. Despite the suddenness of this crisis, the core disciples and masters of Nanhua faction and Heran faction have escaped intact. We can still rally and fight with this demon. The middle-aged Daoist beside him said, Junior brother, you're right. Now, activate the Grand Protective Array while we wait for the backup. At his order, the central mountain of the Yimu Daoist palace suddenly emitted a faint layer of golden light mingled with flowing flames. A gust of black mist crashed onto the golden light and turned into black smoke before vanishing with high-pitched hissing noises. Old Dan Xu. A voice resonated in the sky. Do you think I can't deal with you while you hide inside like a turtle? Feng Zengyi. Astonished, Tan Xudaist looked at the guy standing in the sky with his black hair fluttering in the wind. The latter had lost his celestial look, and it was replaced with an intense gloomy and evil presence. Feng family master, even you were lured by them and became that demon's minion? Tan Xudaist looked terrified since Feng Zengyi had a high cultivation strength and the Feng family's power was very close to that of the major factions. Liud? Feng Zengyi I said with a sneer, don't put me in the same category as those morons. With a shrilling roar, seven distorted pitch black souls flew out of his body. Yin demons? Tan Xu Daoist's expression changed drastically. The rumor 200 years ago is true. Your Feng family has indeed been refining yin demons by using the blood ritual. Feng Zengyi I raised his head and laughed wildly. Only yin demons? Look carefully. With a roar, Feng Zengyi I's body distorted and extended until his face no longer looked like a human's, and two points on his forehead bulged slightly as if something was trying to get out. With his face wicked like a ghost, Feng Zengyi pointed his sharp and thin finger forward, and the Yimu Daoist Palace's grand protective ray was instantly pierced with a pitch black crack. Feng Zengyi silently flew in and contemptuously looked at the cultivators gathering in the Daoist Palace. This is power. Do you see that? This isn't your power. Tan Xu Daoist said in horror, What power is this? It's my power. A horrifying demonic face appeared from the dark clouds in the sky. The power of my kind is beyond your imagination, ants. You can choose to submit to me just like him or you can choose to die. Tan Xu Daoist laughed bitterly and said, Long my ancestral master, the senior of Ayimu Daoist palace, suppressed demons like you at the price of his life. How can you expect me, Tan Xu, to serve the demon? You are seeking death. With a chilly light in his eyes. Feng Zengyi I waved his wide sleeve, and many horrifying corpses swarmed toward the remaining cultivators in Yimu Daoist palace like ocean waves. At his order, the huge corpse army and the seven evil and distorted yin demons charged at the cultivators while roaring. In the blink of an eye, the damaged array was totally destroyed, and the Daoist palace collapsed. Hundreds of cultivators inside the ruined palace looked fearful facing the army of demons. Shortly. They were knocked down, and some of them even got turned into demons by the invasion of intense demonic energy under this suppressive atmosphere. Excellent. Shui Xianyun clapped her hands and chuckled. Feng family master's strength is indeed great. Saint Lord will be pleased. Feng Zengyi looked contemptuous. They are just a group of mortals and can't understand the holy power from the Lord. Now he directed the most powerful ones of his seven yin demons toward Tan Xu Daoist. Old Tan Xu, since you don't submit to us, you must go to hell. With horrifying screams, several distorted ghosts dashed toward Tan Xu Daoist while roaring. Meanwhile, a layer of black and white light lit up around Tan Xu Daoist, blocking these powerful yin demons. However, Tan Xu Daoist retreated several steps, and his face turned pale. While stumbling back, Tan Xu Daoist looked at Feng Zengyi in horror. Your strength has increased so greatly, you won't be so lucky next time. Feng Zengyi sneered and chanted a spell. Then, all the yin demons dashed toward Tan Xu Daoist as if they had gone mad. However, in the next moment, pale-faced Tan Xu Daoist wiped off the blood by his mouth and said viciously, I'll fight you to the death. Yimu True Flame. Level 11. Tan Xu Daoist yelled in fury. Level 11? You're bluffing. Feng Zengyi snickered. Yimu True Flame has only 10. Before he could finish, 
Tank Sudaist gritted his teeth and activated his spiritual essence while his hands waved in the air. One, two, three. Suddenly, many orange red flames appeared. Yang flame. The yin demons that Feng Zengi I had refined and created with great efforts ran into the orange red flames and instantly shrilled. They were covered in these flames. The flames quickly spread out and engulfed Feng Zengi I like a huge net. Even the air in the net began to burn. The horrifying high temperature turned everything into ashes. Even Feng Zengi's horrifying demonic power that he sent out was melted continuously. Feng Zengi's expression changed while he yelled in horror, This is not Yimu true flame. 